Stronger than a whale, he can swim anywhere. He can breathe underwater and go flying through the air. The noble submariner rips up the deep, will be heard in any sea. The favor of Atlantis is the prince of the deep. Hey, YouTube, what's going on? I uh, thought so I'd jump on today, do a quick video, uh, show you a couple of back issues I picked up. And something I don't show very often, and that's the the actually new books that I'm reading. Um, today is the 26th of April, and I thought the 26th was the day of the very first video I did, but actually the 23rd. But and it's close enough. And at the time when I first started doing videos, I was collecting two titles: <laughs> Captain America and the Avengers. Well, I stopped the Avengers, still collecting Captain America, but now I'm picking up. A lot more. Some are only pull, some aren't. Um, that's probably going to change some stuff. Um, if you've watched my videos in the past, you know that I'm kind of really fed up with my uh, current little comic shop. And next Saturday, if we comp with day, I'm actually going to a different store. And they have a little membership thing where you get uh, tons of uh, discounts um, on new stuff, old stuff. A lot of stuff just for members, a lot of their back issues. I think the last Saturday of every month, the back issues are a dollar. They have like a separate upstairs room where their back issues are a dollar. And then from Free Comic Book Day, those issues are three for a dollar. A bunch of, tons of other sales they got going on there. So that's pretty cool. So I'm going to check that store out. A um, friend of mine goes there, he's been going there for years. So uh, we can split this. It's out of my way compared to where I go now, but uh, since he goes down there a couple times a month, we'll be able to split drive and save some costs there. But anyways, uh, some stuff that I've been picking up about the first issue of this. I liked it, so I got the second, and uh, we'll st I'll give us a few issues, but that's uh, Daredevil number two. I said I liked the first one. I liked the second one, so we'll see where that goes. It's not on my pull list right now, but um, I'm still going to pick it up. And then this is, I thought this was pretty good. Uh, I haven't read too much of this character in the past. So I figured I'd try the first first couple and see what it is. And it's the uh, first issue of Iron Fist. So I really liked it. So like I said, we'll see. Give it a few issues. Again, not on my pull list, but I'll pick it up. <laughs> Another book's not on my pull list, but uh, first two issues were good. It's not the greatest, and I never really picked up much from this um, title before. But the third issue, I really like the end of this third issue. And that's a uh, Fantastic Four. So, I've been liking that. Another book that I've really been liking. Out, it's, uh, I think it's only four issue series. I think four or five. And uh, Winter Soldier. Been really liking this. Just finally, finally saw the movie last night. Uh, my wife wanted to go, so saw it last night. Loved it. So yeah, there's that. And another book I've really been liking, which um, at first I didn't really know much of these characters. And I'm starting to pick up a lot of their, uh, a lot of the back issues from Valiant. And this is with Unity. Really liking this one. And how can you not like anything with Ed Brubaker in it? And I've been really liking this series. It's Velvet, Velvet Number Four. I've been really loving that. And then there's a book that I've heard really good things about. And uh, like I said, none of these books. I think all the only book that's in my pull list right now is. Is Unity so far? Um, my shop, my current shop, doesn't get, excuse me, too many independent books on the shelf. Very, very rarely. And um, I know he wouldn't have this. But uh, recently, we drove to, I had to go back to Cornell, take Tootsie back to Cornell for to get her space surgery. So finally, we, finally, her heart was um, good enough. It's, it's it's healed enough so we can we can have her fixed. So two weeks ago, Thursday, we drove down. Me and my father-in-law drove down uh, three and a half hours to Cornell. And uh, she finally had her surgery the next Friday, uh, the Friday after. Um, but they have a comic shop down there. It's a comic for collectors. Comics for collectors. It's a nice little shop. Kicks, blows my shop out of the water for, for half the size that this guy has a shop. He's got some great stuff in there. And he had number one of this. I think it's on three or four now. And I just absolutely love this book. It's 
Mercenary C, number one. So hopefully I'm gonna try to find the rest of these down when I go down to Erie uh, for free comic book day. See if he's got the rest of them. Uh, it's been out for a while, so it's got some some scuffs on the cover and stuff. But the spine's all right. Everything else is pretty, but you can just tell it's got a little people. It's been handled, but uh, I don't care. It was it was really good. And uh, when I was down last time, we were down in Cornell. We took the two for her um, just for her checkup. And I stopped in this guy's store all the time when I'm there. He told me about this book that's coming out. It's uh, he kind of told me about it. And it's the guy who created it is actually from Ithaca, New York. His name is Ethan Young. And then uh, he gave me this little card. But the book is it's called A Piggy's Tale. It's the adventures of a three-legged super pup. <laughs> and it was, it, I loved it. It was really good. It, I guess it's, it's kind of like a true story. The guy um, was a doctor, I believe, in uh, Central America or somewhere. And he found a three-legged dog. And uh, he actually bring it home and stuff. So that that part of the story too. But it's really good. It's about a you know three legged dog who becomes a superhero. So <laughs> I can't wait. I I have to read this with my son. But uh, the owner told me about this book and uh, when I was down there last time. So when I went down there, I knew it was coming out that week. So I went down there. So I definitely wanted to pick that up, and I did. And he's actually he gave me a little card here. And the creator, Ethan Young, is actually going to be there for free comic book day. Uh, unfortunately, it's three and a half hours away. And uh, I think Roger Stern's also going to be there. Um, but yeah, that's three and a half hours away. But if you, I think this is a uh, four issue series, I think. I think the next issue will come out till June. But uh, yeah, if you, have, if you love dogs and you have some kids, definitely, if you can find this, definitely recommend picking that up. Uh, so yeah, that's that. Oh yeah, but anyway, yes, Tootsie had a surgery. Uh, she, she's just supposed to be in a cone. We picked her up. She we took her Thursday. She had her surgery on Friday. Picked her up on Saturday, and she's supposed to have her cone on for ten days, which would be two days from today. Well, uh, I actually got a call Thursday from our security system people. Said of a possible intruder in the house, <laughs> so I called my father-in-law because I'm, you know, out of town, and they were already on the phone with the security company. Well, my father-in-law, my wife shows up, and somehow <laughs> Tootsie got out of her crate with her cone on and everything, somehow, and was running amok throughout the house, causing all kinds of noise. And uh, so, yeah, that's what set the alarm off, and <laughs> so probably the cutest intruder we'll ever find. So, needless to say, she had no cone on anymore. Um, thank God her incisions all healed up, so no, no worry about that. But I got a few little back issues here that I, I picked up. Um, me and my wife were out for dinner one night. And, um, up in, towards Buffalo, and they have a little mall there. And we went and had dinner, and we went to get some ice cream. And then on the way back, my wife goes, oh, look, they got comic books in the store. Sweet. <laughs> so I ran in there, and they had some... Uh, Maybe a half dozen short boxes or whatever. So I quickly thumbed through, and I think all the they were all a dollar. So I just picked out like four issues really quick, and uh, essentially I wanted to pick up a lot of these these mini series. So I got number issue one of Good Old Mackenzie, Submariner. I don't know where Tom Hippie Collectibles got Mackenzie from, but he insists that's his real name. So yep, there's that. I get uh, Long Shot number three. Had all these when they first came out, traded them away, but slowly getting them back. And then a couple issues from Astro City. This is uh, Dark Age Book 3, number 1, and number 4. So, got those. And this last book, I see a lot of people picking up, and they found it at my shop, which is surprisingly cheap. <laughs> he likes to, uh, anything that's kind of the new hot book, he likes to jump up ridiculous price. But I found X Factor number three, or number three, number six, excuse me, for a couple bucks. So I picked that up, and I'm thinking I'm going to throw this into my contest. Yes, I have a contest. 
for those of you who didn't see my last video, don't know, but people who did, threw something out there for an idea for a contest. Um, told people to go ahead and send me a PM if they want to be entered in for one set of books and to do a video for a second set of books or other prize or whatever it was. Um, thought it was a great idea, then I realized, oh shit, <laughs> not everybody shows their face on camera for one, so that kind of eliminates certain people. Two, not everybody has either a iPhone or everything to do videos outside their house, so that kind of limited people to who's going to do video. So I figured, well, that kind of, you know, some people said they'd probably do video, um, which was like two people. So to get more people involved, my contest, yes, I'm changing the rules. <laughs> uh, those people who did PM me for the one stack of books, obviously are still eligible for that. But I'm going to let this go. Today's the 26th. Um, oh, crap, I don't have a calendar in front of me. Uh, yeah, I do. Hang on. Right on my phone. Should be more prepared for this, but I am not. Dun -dun, calendar. Today is the 26th. Let's go to May 10th. Two weeks. May 10th, Saturday, May 10th. Um, this time, you know, I do, I do like to have video responses. I think that it's a pretty cool way to to, to learn about people um, in the community and, and become more, 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 you know, more friend, friend with these people. So, this is my idea this time. I showed, um, got a book recently, which was my. Very first comic book that I ever owned. I finally found one with a copy on it. It was Brave and Bold 159. So, I would like to see in a video response your first comic book that you either A, ever owned, um, that you can remember ever buying, whether it was, you know, when you first started collecting 20 years ago or two years ago or whatever. Uh, it was a gift or somebody gave it to you. Or just, <clears throat> even if you still have it, if you don't have it, um, whatever the next book in line is that would be your first book when you started collecting so yes um, just show me your book you know you know why you liked it why you didn't like it you know anything you want to tell me about it that's kind of what I want to see so like I said I'm gonna throw this into um, one of the prizes whether it's gonna be the just the PM or the video response um, still if you still P if you still do PM me between now and then, you are entered in for the one set of books. And if you do a video, obviously you'll be in the other set of books. Um, books, prizes, all kinds of stuff. That's all. I'm kind of rambling on now. Uh, it's late. I always do my videos late. It's like 11.30. Let me go to bed. Um, so yeah, thanks a lot. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next one. Thanks. Bye.